Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Today I am very excited because I have some products that came in the mail I've been waiting for over a week. Um, Physicians Formula had a 30% off um, deal um, a few Saturdays ago and uh, shipping took almost two weeks which is a little bit annoying but they finally came so I purchased the Physicians Formula Butter Collection by Casey Holmes. I'm very excited about this and I also ended up getting um, a product that was on sale so on top of having a sale and then getting the 30% off I also purchased their essentials mini kit. Um, this comes with a rose all day serum, their spotlight illuminating primer, this hot pearl highlighter. It comes with um, the Killer Curves mascara and the healthy lip uh, liquid lipstick in fight free radicals. So um, these are products I've been wanting to kind of try out and it was pretty inexpensive. So um, to get them together with the discount was a really good deal. So I'm really excited because they came in the mail today. Um, so since I have all these products and I also have the Physicians Formula Foundation, I figured why not just do a full face of Physicians Formula. So let's go ahead and get started. So most of the products I have not used. Um, the only items I've used is the Physicians Formula healthy foundation um, this one is in MN3 it has um, SPF 20 in it it is a great foundation lots of people love it as you probably heard I've also tried their eyeliner this is the eye booster 2-in-1 lash boosting serum and eyeliner I get this in black I believe they have a new color that is like blackest black so I'm excited I want to try that one but right now I have this one and I've also tried the healthy lips um, liquid lipstick um, which I don't think I have on me the one that I usually use I don't have that one with me right now but it's a fantastic liquid lipstick um, but everything else as far as like their face products um, outside of foundation like I've not used their butter I haven't used any of their butter collection I've never used any of their um, highlighters blushes um, bronzers um, eyeshadows none of that so I'm like super super excited to try this stuff out um, so let me go ahead I don't normally put this stuff um, directly on my face but um, I don't think I have any wipes on me, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. This foundation is so nice. It goes on beautifully. Um, it goes on very nice with a brush and with a damp sponge. Um, if you don't... If you're the type that doesn't like to spend money on um, a beauty sponge, then a cosmetic wedge works just fine. I'm just going to put on an additional layer because I feel like I didn't put enough on. So excuse my hair. My hair is disgusting. Um, I don't wash my hair every day. Are you the type that doesn't wash your hair every day too? I try to wash my hair in the winter time I can get away with a lot longer because obviously the weather is drier and you're not sweating at all um, but I normally in the summer I'll wash my hair probably like every other day or every two days and um, I'm actually on the second day so today's like the day I would need to wash my hair I take showers at night because I like to go to bed um, like obviously I shower <laughs> every day but I shower at night um, so um, tonight is my hair washing day so of course it's your bun up day because this is when your hair is going to be just at its grossest. I don't know if you guys do the same thing like is that weird? I know a lot of people in my life that do the same thing but um, I don't know if that's like a universal thing but yeah. So I've been playing around with different ways to put on my concealer. I have tried putting it directly on my face and using a beauty blender to 
smooth it out. I've tried using a brush and right now just the best way for me is with my fingers. I'm finding that is the best application. I have um, little fine lines that just will show up terribly um, if I use a brush and with the beauty sponge I just haven't quite mastered how to do that. Maybe I'm not using enough product or sometimes I'm using too much. I don't know. Um, but I am playing around with different techniques because I see girls on girls and guys on YouTube who put on their concealer and it looks amazing. They look flawless. I mean, maybe it's the camera that they're using. Maybe they're using filters. I don't know. But it just looks really nice. And I wonder if I could do the same thing, but you know, everyone has different skin, everyone has different faces, so what might work on one person won't work on another, you know? You know what? I should have just done my brows first. I'm not using a brow product from Physicians Formula because they had one brow product available and I just, it didn't seem interesting to me. So I'm just going to use what I normally use. which is the Benefits Browsing. I like a pomade. I've tried using pencils and it just does not work for me. It comes out looking too harsh on me. All right, so now what I'm going to do, <gasps> I'm so stupid. One of the reasons I wanted to do a full face, I'm so dumb. I wanted to use this primer like I've never used a face primer okay I'm lying I have but I wanted to use this particular face primer shoot okay I'll just have to do a whole nother review with it because I'm not obviously taking off my makeup to do this over again dumb all right well okay here is the product really cute packaging gotta say super cute it's called the spotlight illuminating primer it's supposed to give you, let's see, well actually let's see the claims. It's supposed to blur, correct, and protect, huh, infused with five filtering luminescent pearls to blur imperfections and deliver a spotlight glow. It's enriched with antioxidants and protects skin and visibly reduce red. I'm just going to put it on my hand. So dumb. That sounded disgusting. All right, here's the product. Huh, let's see. It goes on kind of like that. And then it's supposed to like blur. I don't know if I'll be able to see any kind of blurring effect because this is my hand. But let's see if there's a luminosity. Ooh, okay, so there is a bit of color to this. So I wonder if this comes in different colors. It lightened my hands quite a bit. Is this, I wonder, is my hand darker than my face? Yeah, my hand's darker than my face. So I think this would have worked just fine on my face. Ooh, that might have gave like a really nice sheen to my skin. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. I think that would have been really, really nice. Okay, so let's just move on. Let me do the face. We're going to go into this Casey Holmes butter collection. All right, moving on. So, oh, oh, immediately there's like a very nice tropical scent. And there's the sleeve. Okay, so one thing I have to say, and I know people have said this time and time again in reviews of this, the packaging is so bulk. When you first, when I first got this and I opened it, I, well, one, it's beautiful. This is so cute. So beautiful, right? I love this pink. I love the tropical on it. It's so cute. It has like Casey Holmes on the back who is just beautiful. Um, this looks like a really nice outer packaging. Like this would be the box that everything comes in and then you would take the products out, right? But then you open it and know the products are in here and you can't take it out, which 
then you're like wait i'm stuck with this whole box this is ridiculous this looks like the box that everything should have come in packaged in but not as like the actual compact i like i personally love ideas of like an all-in-one all-inclusive like package you know like um a full face um, kind of set so I love the idea that you have you know your face and your eye products and your lipstick um, in here but I don't love the packaging idea I mean having everything come separately is awesome um, or even just condensing this I don't know why they decided to do such a big bulky package this is pretty ridiculous um, it would be travel friendly I would imagine because it's so big things are protected but at the same time it would take up so much room it's kind of unnecessary anyways moving on oh it just smells delicious it smells really good it's not overpowering it's not like super chemically um smelling but here is your deep bronze um copper cabana and your just beachy highlighter and then your eyeshadows do not disturb no filter tropic like it's hot and palms palms um so let's go ahead into the face products i want to go ahead and use the bronzer i'm so excited because i've never ever used their bronzer okay this plastic cover is a good idea probably if things are powdery but it's really annoying to get to your product Well, it's. I thought I was a little nervous. I thought this bronzer would be like too bronzy for me. It is powdery, but it's not too dark. Did I say too bronzy? I mean, I thought it would be too dark. English is not my first language, just so you know. <laughs> I was adopted. I came to the U.S. when I was two years old, but according to my mom, I did have language when I came, so... That's my excuse when I have brain farts. I just say that English was not my first language. One of my friends says that that does not count as an excuse and one of my friends says that it does. So whatever works in my favor, I'm going with. All right, so this actually is not too bad of a color. I thought it, I was afraid with it being a deep bronze, it might be too dark, but it's actually working out really nice. Alright, so yeah, sorry, my son woke up and then he's my little six month old baby and then I had to um, try to get him back down and then for his nap and then of course stare at him and my my daughter while they slept for a little bit because they're so cute, especially when they're sleeping. Um, have you ever read the children's story, I'll Love You Forever? Um, or I'll Love You Always? And so I remember a co-worker of mine bringing that book in to show me when I was pregnant with my first baby and just saying, this book is so creepy. And we were looking and I was like, wow, yeah, this is kind of creepy. But I got it as a gift and I cannot read it to my daughter without crying. Like I get to the end and I just cry. It's at, <laughs> every time. So this bronzer, it's weird. Because I like it, but it's got a little bit of a sheen, I think. I'm not seeing the sheen here, but I see it here, and I think I'm seeing it on my nose. So, that's weird, but I'm not seeing it on my cheeks. I don't know. Anyways, let's move on. So let me go into this blush, which I'm really excited about. This is pretty. It's got a little bit of a sheen itself, which for blushes I don't mind. Ooh. Ooh, this deep. Ooh, maybe I went a little bit heavy handed. Whoa, I went a little heavy handed. Oops. We'll fix that. Wow. Okay, yeah. I went a little too crazy with that blush. Oops. Okay. 
I like it though. It has like a nice sheen. This is very summery. It's very, very beautiful. Okay, maybe this is a little bit... Hmm. Alright. Maybe it's a little bit too much. It is the Mineral Glow Pearls. Mineral Glow Pearls. It's in champagne. I think this comes in three colors. One is like light, one is champagne. Ooh, that's fun. So you open it up and in here is a brush and a mirror. And ooh, that's kind of cool. But um, and then here's this brush. That is I'm just testing it out. Ooh, it's really rough and hard and you'll never ever ever use this but that's really cool that it has that option okay so you're supposed to just swirl in here it's not very there's no no dust came off let's see I don't even really need highlight because this blush is so luminous Whew. so that holy smokes that highlight on top of the blush is a lot. It's very pretty. This is a pretty color. But wow. That's surprising. I thought this would be like a, I don't know, like um, a little bit more natural highlight, but it's not. This is like pretty bright. I don't know if that's naturally how that would be or if it's doing that because of the blush. You know what, let me put it on other parts of my face. Ooh. <gasps> I took my mirror and I just smashed it into that highlighter. Oh, darn. Are you the type that tries to keep everything like looking as nice as possible for as long as possible? Because I'm one of those people. I'm like, even with like my tubs of butter, I need to like scrape it so it's still like a very smooth flat surface and when my husband goes in there and he just like jams the the knife in there it just like kills me I'm just like no don't do that you're ruining it I don't know why I'm just weird I know there's other people like that too I know um, okay all right it is a little bit more subtle not with the highlight or not on top of that blush so it's a little bit less crazy okay this bronzer on the nose is not working because I have such a weird brown kind of sheen on my nose now all right I am just like glittery now on my nose. This highlighter though, I'm liking this Mineral Pearls. I really am liking it. That's pretty. It is a lot more pigmented than I was expecting. Alright, I want to try out this Just Beachy highlighter too from the Casey Holmes collection. <sighs> Everything smells amazing. So I've heard mixed reviews on this highlighter. Um, I've read reviews on it too. I've heard that um, in one review on Ulta, one girl s describes it as being gross. Like I said, the highlighter is gross. Um, I'll be the judge of that. Let's see. Let's. I've heard that it's a different texture. So actually, let's feel... Ooh. These are buttery. So this is your bronzer and your cheek product. I'm so stupid. What is it? Blush. Okay. Well, alright. And let's see... Oh, it is kind of wet. It's it's powdery, but it's oh, it's wet. If you dip your finger in it, oh, that's wet. That's weird. That's really weird. I am going to you. I'm gonna do what Emily Noel suggested. She says take your finger, you put it on there, and then you buff it out with a, a brush. I know I have like bronzer or um, highlighter on already, but I just I really want to try it. <gasps> Holy shoot! Holy shoot! You see that? Whew. On top of all the highlight that I have on already. <sighs> Alright. I don't do this kind of highlight often. 
or at all. I don't do this at all. I like um, a little bit of a more natural highlight. This is so glittery. Oh, okay. You know what? I don't think I like this as a highlight. Because now it's just spreading out glitter. Alright, so you know what? The blush and the bronzer has a little bit of a sheen. The bronzer has a slight sheen. The blush has definitely a sheen. Um, but it's more of a, a nice glowy sheen. This is a glitter. Like, the highlight from the Casey Holmes is a glitter. So I can see the flex now moving around my face. Um, so if you are the type that loves like a very like bright bold highlight, I think you'll like the Casey Holmes, even though it's a little different and you do have to play with it. Um, there's glitter flex moving around my face though, which I'm not a fan of, um, in eyeshadow or in highlight, but I really, really, really like this mineral pearl one. So that one's fun. I wonder how this would be on the eyes, although like the glitter is just killing me. Um, mm -hmm. all right, well, not I'm totally in love with my face makeup right now because I really probably shouldn't have messed with that highlighter, but whatever. All right, let's move on to the eyes. I am going to go and put some primer on my eyes. Well, I am definitely glowy without that primer, so maybe it's good I didn't do the primer, um, the illuminating spot primer. Use as much color as I can. So let's go in with Do Not Disturb, that white creamy color. I'm going to just go all over the lids. I don't normally, I well sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't always go in with a base color. I do sometimes, but I don't always. I'm just doing this because I want to use as much of the colors as possible. Okay. So yep, there's my base color, this creamy color that does not do anything other than lighten up my lids just a little bit. So that's good to know. So let's take a little fluffy brush and let's just go ahead and put this underneath my brow bone right now. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so I went in jeez. Oh, okay, I went in with this color. Let's go in with no filter into the crease. Actually, that's really dark. Let's do that anyway. It looks dark. All right, so I ran out of battery. <laughs> and um, I went in with no filter onto this side of my eye, and or onto this eye. And what I did was I forgot to tap off the brush, and there was holy pigment. There was a lot of pigment um, if you don't tap off your brush. So if you are the type that likes lots and lots of pigment at first go, then don't tap off the brush, but then you will have a bit of powder kick off too. But it wasn't terrible. I'm going to go ahead into that deeper red, the Tropic Like It's Hot. And just build up my crease. So yeah, with my weight loss, weight loss um, progress, so that is on pause, um, I was going to do a separate video on that, but I just haven't had time. So basically, I was working out basically every day. I was trying to be physical every single day, um, whether it was taking walks, doing workouts at home, going to the gym, you know, just trying to do something physical. Um, taking my kids to the zoo where you can go for long walks, you know, things like that. Um, and I was doing high intensity interval training through Jillian Michaels, um, which I've done um, before, several times before. Now, my problem was I started to have knee problems. My knee started to ache. 
I'm um, 36 years old. Um, I know, shocking. <laughs> um, I hope. <laughs> but um, my knees were starting to hurt and I'm like, wait, is this really the age that I'll start to have knee problems? I feel like that's really young. Um, I feel like in your 40s that's even really young. So I, I'm going to go ahead into the, the bronzer and see if I can use that to kind of help um, blend out the colors. Um, so I was having knee problems and I just, I got really nervous. Like even just to pick up my kids was getting like difficult and I felt like it was too young. I was too young to hit those problems and I got really, really nervous. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I stopped working out. I didn't know what to do. And then one of my girlfriends, she, um, was actually a little bit heavier than I was, not by much, but, um, or she was heavier than I am now, um, because I'm back to my original weight of 150, and, um, she said she had the same problem, she's like, I had so many, she's like, I had so much knee pain, and, um, she's just like, you know, we're short, we're both 5'2", and she's like, our body cannot handle that kind of weight, on our frames so she had to stop doing the strength training and she had to move on in the cat man um so she had to stop weight training and she just did cardio she's like just drop the weight first and then you can move on to the strength so that's basically what i'm trying to do i kind of um i haven't st <laughs> haven't done that yet it's been a really busy summer so you know, finding time to do like short, high intense intervals of strength training is a lot easier than putting in the longer and extra time of cardio. Because for cardio, you have to do like 30 to 40 minutes, right? And finding time to do that is really tough, but doing like a 20 minute high intensity interval training is way easier. And I feel like the results are almost faster too, because you, I was starting to see some definition in my shoulders and my arms and now I've stopped. So I'm going to start over with that whole program and see, see how it goes. So I will keep you updated on that um, progress, but that's basically what's going on. These are blending out pretty nicely. The bronzer I thought would be really annoying to use on my eyes, but it's actually not too bad. I like a little bit of a sheen in my um, eyeshadow, so I don't mind it. Oh, this is kind of nice. Hmm. Do I go in with that green, or do I just keep it simple? <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? According to Casey Holmes, I'm looking at her package right up here. According to her, you can use the highlights or you can use the green. Why not use the green? Why not? Why not? All right, I'm gonna dip my brush into that green. Let's tap. Let's see. Let's see nothing, because it did nothing. Alright, let me use a different brush. Because I used a fluffy brush, and it was kind of stupid. Alright. Yep, that still did nothing. Let's pack that on. nothing. Okay, that's better. This looks very Christmassy, doesn't it? This looks Christmassy. I've never used green on my eyes before. Never ever. This is the first time. Right. OK. 
Okay, I'm really, oh, my hand is starting to hurt. This thing is heavy and there's no mirror on it. So now I'm holding up this box while I'm holding up my mirror. But because you also have this, um, this sleeve on it, I have to like hold my mirror against the sleeve in order to keep that up. So it is. This is just not doing me right. I'm thinking, yeah, like even if you sat this on a shelf, like how are you going to keep this up? Like you'd have to like, maybe I have a hair clip and you can clip it. Might be annoying. I don't know. Either way. Packaging definitely needs to be redone. Alright. Let's see if we can move the shadow around a little bit. Smooth that out. the shadow go now it's gone hmm. all right that brush wasn't a good idea but I'm going to try to use it to put more color on I know people have been saying that this green is not the most pigmented um I do wish it was a little bit more pigmented but if you are a first time green user like myself, maybe it's not so intimidating being this way. So really, if you can build up the color and you can use your finger, so it is a lot less intimidating this way. But if you are much more, um, I guess, advanced with makeup, this might be annoying. Going further down. Not bad. Alright, not bad. I'm surprised I like this color combination. All right, all right, that was way too long on the face products. Let's go ahead with the eyes. Okay, first I'm gonna smell this fragrance because it smells delicious. Oh my God, it smells, oh my God, it smells so good. I'm not gonna spray it. I don't actually wear any kind of scents. So um, I don't even do like really even um, scented um, lotions, not because I don't like to, but my husband is very like um, anti-chemicals, which is not a terrible thing, especially with the fact that, I mean really it's because we have young children, so you know, I try to adhere to it, and he's also very sensitive to smells, so... I don't wear anything because he doesn't like it and also you know with my kids too I want to I try to expose them to as few chemicals as possible so having companies like Physicians Formula really interests me because they do try to be as safe as possible less chemicals um, so that it definitely interests me is the butter um okay this is our butter lipstick in pop the bubbly that is very light in color let's see how this looks gosh this it, uh, this has a sheen on it too so let's see how this goes with the look i have on now this might not work So it turns out I wasn't recording for like um, that last part of what I did, but that is fine. So um, I added on some lashes. Um, I lined my bottom lash with a highlight, um, like a highlight color, and I used the Tropic Like It's Hot um, underneath my eye, and then I lined the rest of it, my eye, with palms palms and then I used the just beam highlight in the corners and I loved it so much I did it in the center of my eyes as well and I love it um hmm. side note all of a sudden the blush and the highlight like some I don't even know what happened like broke and they're kind of now powdered everywhere so do be 
careful with this and I guess maybe it's not as um, travel friendly as I originally thought so I guess it is kind of a soft formula um, and then I went in with this um, color originally I really like it it's very beautiful but does not go with this look at all but this formula is amazing and this red is beautiful I'll um, try to show a picture somewhere in here of it um, and then I went in with pop the bubbly beautiful beautiful formula um, it's very comfortable the color is actually surprisingly I didn't think I would like it I I usually like a deeper lip um, but with this look is not so bad and I thought with the extra sheen would be too much but I I mean I personally like it it might I think um, on an what would probably look better is more of a, a matte finish but I like it okay overall thoughts foundation is wonderful the healthy liquid lip um, is awesome and the eyeliner is fantastic the butter lipstick is amazing i love it this color i think it's limited edition not in love with but i do love this formula i really want to try in other colors it's really nice it is kind of a light sheen i don't know if they with the deeper colors if it really will come out very deep but it is so comfortable it's so nice um now the only product um that i used out of here um or excuse me out of here was the mascara and my highlighter that i can't find here we go and this highlighter i love this highlighter i like this a lot i can't wait to continue using this i can't wait to try this um this primer i am definitely going to try it and let you know how that goes um now, as for the Casey Holmes, so far, this is a first impressions. I haven't really had a chance to play with this. Oh, gosh, this is getting everywhere. I don't even know if I can lift this up. So, packaging, crazy bulky. Um, the eye products, I actually do like. They worked very nice. The green, yes, you've heard the rumor. It is not very pigmented at first. You are correct, but it does build up, and it is not too bad. If you are a newbie to that green, like me, it is not so scary so might be worth investing in the face products the blush I am still on the fence with the bronzer kind of like but does not work for all over your face um, if you want to kind of do a small slight contour of your nose and the side face the highlighter too much for my cheeks too much glitter um but i love it on the eyes love 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 it on the eyes so um if you look at this palette i mean you might think okay it's just this for the eyes casey holmes if you saw her um tutorial on this she looked at this as a full palette like this is your face and eye palette but these face products are also for your eyes so look at this as a full palette and that's ultimately why i purchased it is it's a full palette um, so this highlighter I don't see as like a highlight for my face but I see it for a highlight for my eyes and it is a gorgeous additional eye product. I will do um, a different separate more in-depth review of her palette once I've had time to really play with it but so far not so bad. I'm not in love with my face stuff because of the highlight. I did too much highlight. It was too much, too much sheen. I think personally with that blush um, that added so much sheen that you didn't need another highlight on top of it and like i said i'm kind of on the fence with that blush but otherwise the eye products really 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 enjoyed yeah i kind of messed up my eyeliner i went way too far out but otherwise i really like this eye look i'm really surprised I'm not used to using green i really like it so yeah, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, um, go ahead and subscribe. Ooh, sorry, fuzzy. Go ahead and subscribe so you can be part of the team and ring that bell and you'll get notifications of when I upload again. Alright, thank you so much and have a great day.